Hi again, here we are uh, talking about the shopping cart and uh, we're going to continue with our um, our talk of converting the shopping cart code into a module. And so far, you know, I've, I've started my module here as shopping cart and I've got this self-executing function and I'm defining um, some of the features here in this area at the top that I've labeled private and then I'm defining other features down here in this area called public, right? Um, so let's uh, let's continue with that, right? Uh, so here we are, and uh, I'm just moving each item as I find it. So here's uh, you know set item count for cart or set count for item, right? So we'll uh, we'll cut that out of there, and then we'll paste it here. This is going to be a um, a uh, public method. You know we want. You know, we want the rest of our program to be able to get the count of any item in the cart. So, uh, so this is going to be public, and all of our public stuff, if you remember from the last video, is attached to this variable called object. So, right here, instead of shopping cart, I'm going to replace that with object. And remember, the cart variable is a private variable, so we don't put this in front of it because it's declared with var inside this closure, right? So we're going to remove this from in front of each of those things, right? Each of the cart, each time cart is mentioned here. And then the next thing we're going to do is save cart and load cart. I think that we're going to make those um, private methods so they can only be called from inside here. So we're going to remove this in front of those, okay? Okay, great. So now we're getting somewhere. Let's get uh, this function here. Uh, shopping cart, uh, remove item from cart, right? So again, this is going to be, you know, object in front of the, the name here for the function. And then cart, we're going to remove this everywhere it appears in front of cart. And don't worry, you know, if you miss one, you know, we'll debug this later. You know, I, I will probably make a mistake somewhere along the way. Um, you know, and that's fine, right? You know, you can uh, make a mistake and go back and fix it later and it'll, you know, it'll work fine. Um, you know, and then, and then you find the mistake and you learn more from it too, so it's kind of better. You should just try and make a couple of mistakes. Um, so, uh, so here we are. So I'm, I'm going to copy the remove item from cart method and I'll cut and paste it. I kind of did that kind of quick there, but essentially I'm just, you know, cutting and pasting each of these functions, you know, cutting them from down there and then pasting the whole function here. And every time I do it, I make sure I get, you know, everything from the name of the function down to the closing curly brace. So, you know, look very closely before you do the, the cut and paste, okay? Um, and so, you know, just to make sure you get the whole thing and you don't leave the curly brace behind. And then be sure to format the code after you paste and then that way you'll be able to see more easily if something's missing, okay? So anyway, so here we are, and I've got the code there. And again, cart is now part of our module as a private element, so we're not going to use the keyword this in front of it. And save cart is also going to be a, a private one, so uh, so we'll remove the this in front of, of it, right? And then now let's get uh, clear cart. So we'll cut that. And then uh, we'll paste it here. And then we'll format our code. And then we'll remove this and this. And now remember, uh, the last line here is, um, is this line here that says return object, right? So that's the... That's the very end of our code, so let's not remove that by accident, right? I'll put a line there just to remind us. And then here's a shopping cart count cart, so I'll cut that. I got the whole function, everything down to the curly brace at the end, right? And I'll paste it, and then maybe we'll format the code here. And then we'll look through here. Oh, we've got this cart. We'll remove the this, then remove this here. And there we go, right? So that's looking pretty good. I think we need a semicolon there, right? Uh, let's see here. We'll get this one um, cut. And then I'll paste this right above here, right below the other function. 
and we'll go through it. Oh, there's this. We got to remove it in front of cart. And there's actually another one over here. And that looks pretty good. Oh, wait, you know, I, I made a mistake on these last couple ones, right? Um, so this is supposed to be object here in front of where it says shopping cart, right? So in front of the function name, it can't be shopping cart. It's got to be object. So I was pasting too quickly. Let's, uh, let's fix those, right? It's okay. We would see an error later, and we'd go back and find it, right? So let's do it again here. So let's cut this one. So there's shopping cart list cart cut and we will uh, paste it here and then this is going to be object and then let's tab that once get rid of this and this and uh, yeah I think that looks pretty good there right maybe we need a semicolon there and and <clears throat> Okay, and then so that's pretty good. And so then the next thing we have are these three functions at the bottom. I'm going to just copy all of these. So this is shopping cart, save cart, shopping cart, load cart, and then shopping cart, load cart. Like this is the function definition. This one calls it, right? So let's cut all those. And these are going to be part of our, our private API, okay? So the, remember, the public API is down here at the bottom, and the public API is up at the top here. So here's, you know, here's our, our, I mean, our private API. So here's our public API here, and then here's our private API. And I want to add these items to the, to the private area, okay? And so let's format that. And again, if you want, if you have this Beautify plugin, you can call on that, and it'll format everything. And of course, now it doesn't seem to be working for me. There we go. Maybe maybe I have an error somewhere, right? So, I guess if maybe if we don't have an error, or the or the syntax is not right, it'll it'll it won't format correctly. But anyway, so here's our here's our our public, or I mean our private stuff, right? And since these are are going to be private, what we're going to do is we're going to arrange these just as regular functions, so they're not going to be attached to an object. So save cart is going to look like this now. So it'll be function save cart okay and um, there we go and then this will be uh, load cart and it will be a function so I'll move load cart over here in front of the word function and then instead of saying shopping cart load cart we can just say load cart like this Okay, and if I look off to the side here, you can see that um, this says JSON stringify, and then it says this dot cart, but we're going to remove this in front of cart. Okay, and there we go. Right, so let's save that, and let's give it a test. Right, so I think that worked pretty good. You know, I probably have an error in there, but we'll we'll sort it out. Right, so let's save it, hide that, and then we'll refresh here. Oh, no errors that time. Let's see. Um, I'll add some items to my cart. Oh, you know, that was pretty good. I was actually hoping for an error so we could go through and talk about fixing the errors, and it looks like it's working. Um, let's test everything, right? So if I do 11 shoes, it seemed like it's kind of working there. Let's click the plus button there. Yeah, I, I, you know what? I think it worked the first try. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that was useful to you guys. And um, again, that would be how to use a module um, to arrange the shopping cart, right? And so, you know, this gives us kind of, it allows us to protect some elements so they're not accessible from outside and then um, create methods that are accessible from outside as public, right? And, uh, you know, that's like, a, it's a very common method that's used with JavaScript. Um, you'll see a lot of code arranged this way. And maybe if you built this, maybe the next time you run into another JavaScript library, you know, you'll recognize some of the features that they're using. Like, for example, this um, self-executing function, right? You know, you see that a lot. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope that's useful. Um, see you later.